Do you know just how vast the ocean is? Do any of us really have any idea? Scientists speculate that less than 95% of the Earth's oceans remain unexplored. While it may sound frightening, do not be discouraged to take this deep dive. You won't believe what's down there. Thankfully, we have deep sea divers who can safely go where no others have gone before. Without them, we'd never know what's down there. We don't even need an underwater breathing apparatus. Deep Sea Diver captures what no one was supposed to see. Shark Statue Some of the strangest underwater finds aren't long forgotten ancient wonders or treasures that have succumbed to Mother Nature's unpredictability, such as shipwrecks packed with precious metals. Many have been very deliberately placed, from deep sea art galleries to oceanic crematoriums, like this shark statue. And what a set of teeth this underwater art installation has. Although these chompers imply that this shark is a monster of the deep, this sculpture is smiling after all. Perhaps it's a friendly reminder for any divers swimming below, and also a reminder that, yep, the ocean is a dangerous place. You might need a good sense of humor to handle all the risks of a deep sea dive, and this smiling shark sculpture could likely put a smile on any diver's face, or it could scare the crap out of you. What do you think? We do like the fact that whoever created this had both reactions in mind. Maybe it was submerged to help scare wildlife away, like an underwater scarecrow. Whatever the reason, we're here for it. And if we were underwater alongside these divers, we'd be very glad to know this smiling shark was a well-placed imposter and not the real thing. In fact, it's not even in the ocean. The underwater shark statue is in a lake in Switzerland. Mysterious Mucus If you were close to a large mass of clear goo in the ocean, would you touch it? Yeah, we doubt you said yes, because for all we know, it could melt our skin or shock us. Luckily, this 13-foot blob is harmless, but it's something you might not expect. These underwater masses are millions of squid eggs together that float around for a few days. Since they only appear like this for a couple of days and are very deep underwater, they're rarely seen. Footage of this has not been recorded much. The eggs go down to a depth of about 150 meters and hatch soon after. Unfortunately, squid eggs can't tell us what kind of squid produced these eggs. Who knows, maybe it's a new species. After a few days, the squid babies hatch and the masses disintegrate, so very few people have seen this in person. Scientists aren't sure how the masses get this big, but they think the huge size allows the egg to spread out and get more oxygen. While the jelly-like substance helps protect the eggs from infection, bacteria, and predators. No one has ever seen a red flying squid lay eggs, so if it ever is observed, maybe the mystery of these eggs will be solved once and for all. Clean Money, Dirty Work this next video will surprise you because you'd think a machine could do this next task as this job not many people can handle. The one good thing is you don't have to go into this dank sewage sludge without this super protective diving suit. At least there's no current, no dangerous wreckage in the area, and reasonable temperatures. These dives are done at wastewater treatment plants, so there are very disgusting things in this small sludgy hole. These huge digestion towers are up to 40 meters high, and the dives can last up to three hours, so you might smell a little after. The cool suit is water and gas-tight special diving gear with its special helmet that makes it so you can't see anything. So they're blind down there as well. The hole in the video is mostly corn and soybean waste inside the digester. This tiny space will make you claustrophobic, so this might be your worst nightmare with a putrid smell on top of that. The closed suit is supplied with air by the service team on the surface, outside the digester, via a hose package with four lines. Breathing air is blown into the suit. This also flows into the helmet so that the diver can breathe without a regulator. There's a service team and they can talk to the divers with a telephone that's inside, so at least you can talk to someone down there. <laughs> Touching two continents. The area called Silfra in Iceland was formed by the divergent tectonic drift of the Eurasian and North American plates which have caused cracks and fissures to form a valley. This place has become a scuba diving sensation because of its clear water and location within the continental rift. This gorgeous diving spot is one of the most famous and most sought tourist activities in Iceland for divers. The Silfra fissure is the only place in the world where you can dive between two continents, so it's an experience you wouldn't forget if you can handle it. The rock formations are incredible, and in the deep silver crack you can have your photograph taken between the continents. The water at the silver fissure is a completely pure and clear one, 
Its amazing visibility can extend to over 100 meters, and Silfer's water is essentially the meltwater from a giant glacier that's about 60 kilometers north of it. The all-year-round low water temperatures are between 2 to 4 degrees Celsius. These temperatures remain constant because the natural spring travels underground and does not freeze at its source. People see that snorkeling here is like flying. When in the water, you look at your surroundings completely differently because of the visibility. You essentially are swimming in the opening of the earth. If you do want to learn to dive, it's considered an average difficulty. Beginners can try as well if they feel comfortable enough in the water and know how to swim. <laughs> Grandmother Divers Sea women are the English nickname for these grandmothers who dive for a living in South Korea and are still better than most young people. The Korean name for this is Hayinyo and dates back to the year 434 and is started as a mainly male profession, but by the 18th century, female divers outnumbered male divers. They're also considered to be the first working mothers in the country breaking social norms to be the providers for their families. In Jeju Island, this community of women, some aged in their 80s, go diving 10 meters under the sea to gather shellfish, such as abalone or sea urchins, for a living without the use of oxygen masks and use classic dive masks. Diving became essential to surviving in the 17th century, at a time where men were passing away in deep-sea fishing accidents of war. Unfortunately, the tradition is starting to become less practiced because many of their daughters have decided to make a living in the city instead of what their mothers do. There is, however, a dedicated school to teach younger generations the way to master this art, but many of the divers have come to terms with the idea that this method might not survive another generation. They also don't want to force the tradition on anyone else as they will have more options for careers if the younger generations get an education. There were around 26,000 female divers on this island in the 60s. In 2016, this number dropped to about 4,500. It seems not many young people want to grab a fishing spear in a net and dive into the ocean to catch sea life. It's definitely harder than using big fishing nets and would take much patience to master. Training for this starts around 11 years old and beginning in shallow water, trainees work their way up to more challenging depths. After seven years of training, a girl is considered a full-fledged hyenyo. These women might be the closest thing to a mermaid. Well, at least their swimming skills are like one. Deep Sea Gravity Have you ever wondered what it would be like to float through space? Well, in this short film, Ocean Gravity, it looks like a person is doing exactly that, but it's in the ocean, so you can experience this floating feeling without going to space. This all takes place in the Tipudo Pass, which is a well-known diving spot, and shows a diver who floats through the depths without any ocean life in sight, which makes it seem like empty space. He appears weightless because he takes advantage of the strength and pull of the lagoon's deep current, which results in the same types of look as an astronaut on the moon. The speeds he reaches in this video seem almost impossible without the help of equipment or flippers, but the technique he uses with the combination of the current helps him navigate the depths majestically. If you're afraid of the ocean, you could just go into space to get the same feeling, but that might be a harder goal to accomplish. Would you rather go to space or dive into the bottom of the ocean? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Submarine Crossing Pretty much seeing any massive shadow underneath you in the depths of the ocean would freak you out, but the odds of that thing being a submarine is next to none. Well, this diver is one of the very few people to experience such an event while exploring the ocean. In this video, you start to see the shape of a big white shape coming into frame and the shape of a submarine starts to come into sight. The approaching vessel appears to be around 30 feet, with a standing platform and handrails across the top deck. It travels slowly past the camera person, then disappears into the blue depths like it was never there. The scary clip has been seen by thousands since it was posted, with viewers believing they know more about the odd submarine. Many people commented it's wood decking, white paint, and handrails, so this means it's probably a civilian submarine. It's not a military sub since they have black plates and less fancy subs are just painted black. Only a few countries paint their subs anything but black. Some thought it looked like the Waikiki Atlantis, which is a tourist submarine that takes visitors to Hawaii's Oahu Island on a trip through the ocean. Maybe some of the tourists saw the divers through the windows. That would be one confusing sight. Highly doubtful it's possible, though. <laughs> underwater Vortex Hopefully you have diver experience if you ever find yourself in an underwater vortex. Good thing this scenario won't happen unless you're a diver anyways. The ocean can be a very dangerous place because even the water can attack you. So you should be a decent swimmer if you want to explore the depths of the ocean because one thing you can get caught in is a vortex, and this would not be fun. 
A group of divers was caught in a vortex current, which is an underwater current that runs parallel to the surface of the water. These don't appear often, and not much is known about them since only a few dive sites have them around the entire world. The only advice to escape these is to remain calm and attempt to swim out of it perpendicularly. But how many people could remain calm while being in one of these? Seems like that would be hard too. These were professional divers and had help as well in case they couldn't get out, but all of them made it out okay and moved on without the rest of the diving. The whirlpools on average last up to 198 days, which means you have to swim out because they won't be going away anytime soon. But the chance of swimming into one of these is very unlikely, so don't be too afraid of them. <laughs> Maw Sharks Most of you have probably heard of maw rats, like people who spend most of their time going to shopping malls. Have you heard of the maw sharks? Well, this is literally sharks in maws doesn't seem real, right? Well, this massive mall in Dubai has an aquarium inside with sharks. This aquarium is one of the largest suspended aquariums in the world and has more than 33,000 marine animals. There are over 300 sharks and rays in the tank, including the world's biggest collection of sand tiger sharks, so this place is no joke. The crazy part about this massive tank is that you can even dive into the depths of the 10 million liter tank and come face to face with the largest collection of sand tiger sharks in the world. The mall states, the sharks are waiting for you. It's perfectly safe. This seems very hard to believe, but you have staff with you at all times. These sharks are used to people by now and have tons to eat. Also, sharks are not even that dangerous to humans. Unfortunately, so much media portrays sharks as all attack on site creatures. If you want to see something else besides sharks, you could check out King Croc, which weighs an incredible 750 kilograms and measures over 5 meters long. It would be terrible to be in this mall if that thing ever escaped. <laughs> Icy Depths Being trapped under the ice is a nightmare that could be a reality for the people that attempt ice diving. Imagine cutting a three-foot hole into the ice that reveals black water below, then dropping into shocking one degree Celsius water and getting a numb face almost instantly. Yeah, that doesn't seem enjoyable at all. But if you end up doing this, you'll be mesmerized by the light and texture of the under ice environment. It would be an experience you could brag about to many people. The chance to see penguins and leopard seals and 15 species of whales, along with many more sea creatures, makes this a world that not many people get to see. The most obvious dangers of ice diving are getting lost under the ice, hypothermia, and regulator failure due to freezing. Even the people on the surface have hazards to watch out for, including freezing temperatures and falling through thin ice. This type of activity requires many years and practice, so it's not for everyone, especially if you hate the cold. <laughs> Sunken Sculptures Not many people have heard of underwater museums. This place is exactly that and it would be perfect to visit if you love diving and sculptures. Located 200 meters off the coast of Ayanapa on the eastern part of Cyprus is like a forest full of trees, children at play and other mythical characters. To see all of this, you of course have to go underwater by diving or using a snorkel from above, so it takes some effort to explore but it would be totally worth it. This project strives to build a habitat for life in the ocean while examining the impact of man on the natural world. It was created by British sculptor Jason DeCares Taylor, who has done many underwater exhibits. Every sculpture is made from materials that have no negative impact on the surrounding environment, and the structures will act as a new home for life as they become covered in biomass over time, which means this place will change with time and age for the better. So maybe waiting a while to see it might be a better idea. Red Devil Squid Strikes When diving, the worst case scenario would probably be your mask coming off causing you to drown. This almost happened to a camera person filming Red Devil Squids deep down in the ocean. A researcher for squids wanted to get close-up shots of these amazing creatures, and to do so they got underwater cameras with red lights as these squids don't react to this color of light as much as the default white light. While doing this, an onslaught of these squids went after the camera and eventually started going after the diver. One even attached to his mask, almost ripping it off his head, which would have been a disaster if anything broke. These creatures have ten tentacles and two arms that are longer and for feeding. Each arm contains about 100 to over 200 barb-like hooked suckers. These powerful suckers help them to grab, grip, and tear apart their prey, so these can harm you if you're not careful. They can even change to 28 different colors as it's part of their communication pattern and still, these squids haven't been fully studied since they're only found in 200 meters to 700 meters of water. So, these are not meant to be seen often, that's for sure. <laughs> Terrifying Warning Sign 
Diving in these maze-like caves is risky as the sign to the entrance warns you that going into this water maze could result in drowning, even if you're an experienced diver. Guinea Springs in Florida is known for its beautiful and vast cave system, and many of them are underwater. Nine out of ten divers that perish from diving is because of the lack of any formal training in cavern or cave diving. So if you ever plan on cave diving, make sure you're very protected. Devil's Eye is a cave with a round opening. 20 feet across and once you go down 50, you find the signs that read, Stop! Prevent your death! There's nothing in this cave worth dying for. A grim reaper is on the sign so that this would most likely make some people turn away. The thought of being lost in an underwater cave all alone in a dark maze with air slowly running out would be enough to stop almost anyone. <coughs> Creepy Horror Statue This lake has a secret that lurks at the bottom. If you've ever seen one of the many Friday the 13th films, this statue would scare you that's for sure. But then that fear would turn into amazement. An artist decided to make a replica of Jason Voorhees, which if you don't know is a villain from the famous horror film Friday the 13th, where a killer with an old hockey mask stalks camp counselors and of course kills them. Imagine diving and swimming up to this in the dark waters. This underwater statue was located in Crosby, Minnesota, and most divers would find out this exists because of the popularity it has, so most divers won't have to worry about freaking out. Let's just hope the divers who do run into this freaky horror creature 120 feet below don't have a heart attack. That makes you wonder, has anyone swam into this without knowing it's there? Seems very unlikely, unless it comes alive and can move, we doubt that will ever happen. What's your favorite horror monster? Let us know in the comments. <coughs> Nemo's Garden Growing things underwater sounds like a lot of effort and impossible, but this project called Nemo's Garden is something that seems ahead of its time. This project began in 2012 and currently consists of seven pods and biospheres, each of which can hold around 22 plant pots and of course is underwater. 100 meters off the coast of Noli in Italy lies a cluster of balloon pods pegged to the seabed by ropes 6 meters long. Inside a range of food is being grown, including red cabbage, lettuce, beans, basil and strawberries. It's also an eco-friendly and self-sustainable project. The use of renewable energy from the sun and fresh water obtained by desalting seawater makes this a self-sustainable system. There have been some doubts regarding this way of farming because the main concern would be whether a setup like this would disrupt the local food infrastructure. Coastal communities often rely on fish, not just as food, but as a source of income. So this might not be used unless we're in some kind of apocalypse. The ocean has many mesmerizing stories that we keep learning about. What kinds of things will we know about in the future? Which was the most interesting part of this list? You can let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video.